Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sarah Adams, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you all of the favorite things that I got off of my Amazon registry for my baby shower. And if you're pregnant, these are definitely things that you're going to want to add to your own Amazon registry. Hey guys. So this is my little bump update and I wasn't gonna wear this when filming but my back is really bothering me so this is my belt I talked about in my third trimester must-have video so if you haven't seen that go back and check that out um, in this video I'm gonna be showing you everything that I got from my baby shower and a couple of other things that I bought for myself off of my Amazon registry I have to say like I'm so happy that I had a baby shower it went so great it basically was just like a backyard pool party I was worried with the whole COVID thing that I wasn't gonna get a baby shower so um, it was really nice that we had it it just went perfectly it was pink flamingo themed so super happy with that we also had our maternity slash couples photo shoot um, so I will link up the video and the photo album in the description box below so I'm just super happy like how everything's going we're down to the wire here so I'm making like a couple of last quick videos for you guys and like I said I want to share everything that's on my Amazon registry that is like a must-have or that I'm just super excited about and I have a lot to go over, so I'm gonna be kind of talking fast and being pregnant. I feel like I'm already getting out of breath, so just bear with me, but I'm super excited to show you guys all of this stuff. She's so cute. Gavin. Okay, so I kind of have it laid out. It's in no particular order, like there's not different sections and stuff, but I'm just gonna dive right in over here first so I don't forget these things. So this is obviously Jolie's changing station just a couple of quick things here um, this a friend actually got me it was not on my registry but I will link all of this stuff up below um, so you can find everything exact this is a really cool wipe dispenser you press down and it comes up and then this is actually a weight that you put the wipes in underneath it so it's just supposed to make it a lot easier like if you have some crazy mess going on here and you just only have one hand that you can open this easily with one single hand and also with the weight you pull out one wipe at a time instead of if you've ever tried to pull out wipes before sometimes like a bunch come with it and then this caddy I normally don't like clutter and things but it's got to be practical <laughs> to use this space so this caddy it's designed to like put your diapers in there and then I'll probably rearrange this with some of her toiletry type stuff. But I did want to show you too. The Little Remedies was highly recommended. Um, it is supposed to be more natural. I don't know that it's all natural. But like this in particular is basically a Tylenol. But it has no artificial colors or sweeteners or flavorings. Anything like that. And then this is another product that I didn't know you were supposed to have for babies. But came highly recommended. It's a saline spray or drop. So that's why I really like this one. You can either drop it into their nose or spray into their nose when they have a lot of mucus that is maybe like harder that you can't suck out. So this just kind of like softens everything up for them. So I that. And then over here, this is just gas relief drops. Again, no artificial colors or dyes or parabens or anything like that. And then gripe water. My cousin has been swearing by this stuff for years. Anytime they have hiccups, you give them just a little bit of this and it literally goes away almost instantly. So hiccups is the main thing that I've seen it used for, but it says it's also supposed to help with gas, colic, and fussiness. Again, free of dyes, alcohol, and parabens. So I'll link up all of these things um, below in the description box. This, I looked around at a couple of different sets. I wanted something that was unisex in case our next baby is a boy. And I just thought this was really cute and clean and it kind of comes with everything that you need. It has, you know, the brush, the comb, the clippers. I know a lot of people are worried about using clippers in the beginning. It scares them. So it also comes with a set of files. I'm not quite sure when I'll ever use the scissors. Um, but then it comes with a toothbrush. So I think as she's teething, she might enjoy chewing on that and then it'll get her used to that texture. 
And then as she starts to cut teeth and it's time to start introducing baby toothpaste, um, we have that. And it comes in this really nice case too. And then this is another organic baby product set. It's actually a gift set. It was nice because you kind of get a little bit of everything. I feel so much more prepared that I'm not missing anything. And then of course, like as I start to go through it, I can go back to Amazon or Target and stock up on these items. But it comes with a lotion, a bubble bath, foaming shampoo and body wash, dish and bottle soap, which I didn't initially think to put in my registry. So I love that it comes with that too, because I don't want to be using like a Dawn dish soap with her bottles. Um, wipes for like wiping down a uh, hay chair, like if you go out to a restaurant or something, or just wiping the table or their toys. And then there's also two smaller alcohol-free foaming hand sanitizers. So those are going to be great to keep like either here, so after I've changed her, or even in a diaper bag or something. Another thing I want to show you is I did a kind of like a nursery video. And I don't think I mentioned this, but it's obviously a picture frame. But it comes with a set of clay that you can do their hand and footprint. And then you put that in there. So this is just a picture of like an example. So I actually packed that in my hospital bag. So I can just do it right at the hospital and have like her tiniest ever footprint and handprint, which kind of leads me to this area. I'm just going to jump in right here real quick. So what matches that is I have one of those like, um, word signs. I'll maybe like throw up a picture or something. So you see how I've been using it through my pregnancy. And every time I go to write out the words, I'm throwing all of the letters on the floor and like searching through to try to find the right letters. And then I saw somebody post about this. So again, I added it to my Amazon registry and I'm like, why did I not think about this before? So I'll be using this throughout her progression, especially in the first year. And I'm thinking as a new mom, I'm not gonna have time to go through and find all those letters. So it's this kit that has all of the letters kind of organized for you. This is Moms on Call. So a friend recommended this to me. I really like it for new moms, especially the first couple of chapters just talk about how to swaddle a baby and how to suck out their boogies and all of those different things. Or like, when should you use the Tylenol? So there's a lot of like great insight from them on here. They are nurses and moms. And then they also talk about sleep training in here, which is something that I'm going to try with Jolie just for our schedule and stuff. So I highly recommend checking that out. They also have an app and a website. I'll probably talk more about this once I'm actually like using it with Jolie. Talking about sucking boogies, mom's on call, just use like the little sucky squeezy ball thing. And I don't really like the idea of knowing what's in there and if things could grow in it or something. So I did put this on the registry and somebody bought it for me. Thank goodness. It's a little bit of an investment compared to like, you know, the ball sucky things you can get for free. But this, I just really like because it has in here a little vessel that actually captures the snot and then you can just wash it out. And then it comes with two different size tips. So when they're really tiny, you know, you don't feel like you're shoving it up their nose. And then when they're a little bigger, you can upgrade to the bigger ones. It's also pretty cool. It's battery operated and it actually sings music um, to help calm the baby while you're using it. Everybody says like keep snacks and water next to your breastfeeding area. So these kind bars are some of my favorite snack bars. So I just wanted to kind of do a little shout out and you can get them on Amazon. This metal water bottle is basically like a way cheaper brand. The fancy brand that you can get are like $40 and I think this one was around 15. I just love that it has the handle and it comes with a curved metal straw. So it kind of reminds me of the mug that you would get at the hospital. Those things are so nice to drink out of and hold so much water. I don't know how many ounces, but I'm gonna say maybe, like maybe 32 ounces. And because it's metal, like if you put in ice, it'll be cold overnight. So I'm actually gonna use this one in my bedroom. I wanted the baby blue because it reminded me of Davin. And then I'll probably get a pink one for in here for Jolie. So let's talk about my rocker real quick. I really took a risk getting a rocker off of Amazon when it's something that I couldn't sit on. Nobody had told me about this one specifically, um, but I absolutely love it. I like number one, that it has a really high back. Being a taller person, it kind of reminds me of like a wing back chair. So it gives me full back support and neck support. I don't have to like slouch in it or anything. The seat is really nice and wide. So there's plenty of room for me and her sitting there to like read a book when she gets a little bit older, but it's not too wide that I don't have enough arm support on either end. It also rocks, swivels, and reclines. So I feel like it just kind of has like 
it all built into this one thing. I think it's really pretty. It totally matches the theme of everything. The pink robe hanging in there um, is by Caden Lane, but I did see that they are selling it on Amazon right now, so that's why I just tossed it in here. I am in love with this robe, and I talked about it again in another video where I was in the nursery here, so I'm not gonna get into that. Um, but I'll link up that video below so that you can check that out. Love, love, love that robe so much. It's so soft. Um, I love the way it wraps around twice. So like you're not gonna be falling out anywhere. And then the other thing over here is my nursing pillow. And it's called a breast friend pillow. And as you can see, it's shaped very differently than a boppy, which is like your traditional nursing pillow. And obviously I haven't used it yet, but everybody that I've talked to about it said that it's just a lot more supportive. It's definitely a firmer type of pillow, so it's gonna be more supportive. And then it has this hook here. So I'm gonna have one upstairs and downstairs, and I imagine downstairs she might kind of fall asleep here, and I just wanna like walk to the kitchen or something. So if you have this wrapped around and clipped to yourself, you can actually get up and have that um, support still there and it also comes with this little pocket so you can throw like a snack in there or your phone or like whatever a pacifier so I think that that's super handy this little guy is a jelly cat swan and it just again totally goes with a the theme I have a lot of swans in here and um, again in another video I talked about the jelly cat bunnies that I love so much as kind of like an homage to Davin. So if you've never looked into the jelly cat animals, I suggest you do. They're so cute and whimsical. That's my cat Pierre. <laughs> again, something highly recommended by a couple of friends. As their baby was teething, they absolutely loved this particular chewy toy. And of course it comes with some soothing gel. There's two toys back here. This first one is for when they're doing tummy time and it just helps them start to recognize themselves and it has like all these bright colors and the dark black. So it's supposed to be really good for helping them develop self-recognition. And again, like as their vision is kind of developing and it's super small and lightweight and easy to move around so I might be taking that back and forth to the beach house with us. This thing is a bath toy. I just thought it was super cute. It comes with these little rings that goes on the octopus arms. So I feel like that would be good for the baby to like start to learn fine motor skills. Talking about that, here are two things for her eating. This set of fork and spoon has a really unique handle on it and it's supposed to help them transition from eating with just their hands to using utensils. And I just love anything Disney, so this is a really cute Minnie Mouse mat, and I like the idea of having the little spaces to put different foods. Not that she'll probably just end up mixing it up, um, but also having the silicone that if it is something super messy, that I can just pick this up, toss it in the dishwasher or in the sink, and not have near as much on the tray or on the table, especially. So moving down, this is my carrier. I'm super excited about this. I did so much research, asked so many moms on social media which carrier they preferred, and there was a large variety of different ones, but this one, once I saw this certain feature, was like a no-brainer for me. Let me just tell you, it's not this color. When I got the box, I was like, I wanted gray. So it is gray inside. So a lot of people said to you get this brand, but the feature that totally sold me was that it has this hip seat thing. It's like one big piece, but when they get older, you can actually take this part off and just wear the hip support seat for the baby. So when you are like out at the park and they want to sit on your hips a lot, you know, you're not going to be in some kind of weird funky position. And I also like to, even for before we get to that point where she doesn't need the front carrier, a lot of the weight is distributed onto my hips. I have a lot of neck and back problems, so I feel like this is probably the absolute best carrier for somebody that has neck and back problems because, again, like her weight would be pulling on my neck and shoulders. Um, so this way, a lot of her weight is going to be sitting on my hips. So I'm so excited about that. And then I did ask for a sling carrier too, um, just for portability. This one's going to be easier to travel with or just doing quick little things around the house. I looked at a bunch of different ones. I wasn't sure with this one because it was one of the cheaper ones on Amazon, um, but the material is really nice and the construction is really good. So I'm very happy with this choice. So we have a pack and play downstairs and then also at the beach house. So to have 
this little thing to organize, again, like the wipes and the diapers and all that stuff off the side of the pack and play. It's just like one less area that has to get all buttered. So this is a backseat mirror. Nothing special about that, but just kind of like a reminder to add that to your, your registry if you don't have one. And then this also is for the car. Uh, it's two pieces. And this one goes on the bottom of your seat to protect your car from getting like dents in it or anything from the baby's car seat. So it has like this grippy material on the back, straps around the back of the the seat. So in the beginning, she's just gonna be in a small carrier on that part, but then once we upgrade to a larger seat, it'll be against the back also. So this is on like the part that the car seat goes on, or like if you were sitting on the car, like your butt goes on, but then this dangles down on the leg area. So again, you can keep emergency items like tissues or wipes or pacifiers. And then this also, I'm not gonna open it up, but it attaches to the back of the front seat. So it dangles down in front of the baby, you know, obviously with like the leg space in between and it's a whole organizer. So there's this whole area that you can put like an iPad to play movies to them when they're a little bit older or different sections to hold like coloring books and colored pencils or cup holders. It's just like this whole organizer thing. So this, these two pieces came as a set. Um, Pierre, that's not for you. This could be a problem. So these seem like a cat toy, but they're not. Um, this cute little set goes on the baby's wrists. They're little rattles and again like lots of bright colors and the black that makes it easy for baby to see. So it's just meant to, stop it, it's just meant to entertain them while they're like laying on their back or wherever they're just kind of hanging out. And then these are also socks that go on their feet, same thing. Okay, Pierre, stop it. So then these are socks that go on their feet as well. So you can use like one at a time or use all four at a time. Um, but it seemed like a really cheap, easy way to entertain them and also help them um, with, again, like their vision and all that stuff. And I'm definitely going to have a problem with you and some of these things. So these are just two bath toys. This is a set of little boats. And then these are cups. And they're so simple, but babies seem to absolutely love those. So I definitely had to have those on my registry. This is a full set of bows in absolutely every color you can imagine. They're actually very soft and super stretchy. So they'll probably stretch with her for a little bit. I'm really impressed with the quality considering that you get 15 bows for just 16-ish dollars. So I figured it was just a really good idea to have this multi-pack, so no matter what outfits I have, I should have a bow to match every single color. Moving along, here's a couple of um, breastfeeding things. So if you are buying somebody some stuff off of registry, throw some of like the non-fun items. I know like the bows and outfits and things like that are super fun, but um, I'm so grateful for the, th the people that got me these things. Um, so mother's milk, tea, I think a lot of Pregnant women have looked into that and know about that. It's basically, it has different herbs in there to help your milk supply. So you start taking it once you've delivered. And then I also found that they came out with these chewables in a lemon flavor. There might've been more flavors, I'm not sure. I haven't tried them yet, but if I don't like them for some reason, I will not link them up. I'll unlink them from this video. But I was just excited to have like another option. I think it would be nice just to have some of these on the go, especially because we travel a lot. These again, also were highly recommended this particular brand especially so that's why I didn't go with like a generic brand they're basically just ice packs for your boobs this thing everybody talks about it's called a haka so it's basically this little I don't even know what you would call it like a cup and you squeeze it and then as you're breastfeeding on one side with your baby, you attach it to the other side and it catches all of your let down. Just the natural suction will make it stick and then also help extract some of that precious, precious milk. I've heard of women getting anywhere from like one to like four ounces with this thing. And then it also comes with a lid that you can just pop it into the fridge then or pour it into your milk bag or a bottle. I'm gonna link up this brand specifically because it's the one that my friend swears by. She's the one that got me it. Um, it's nice because it does have this lid here, but it also comes with this little thing, which is also kind of like a cap. So I'm not quite sure why they sent me both, but that's nice in case I lose one. So that would just go in there. And then it also comes with this strap. She says she doesn't use it, but you can strap it around the haka. And then I think it goes over your neck just so if in case you the seal breaks or you didn't have it positioned right, it won't just fall. Now I'm gonna be sitting the whole time, obviously like in a rocker or something, so I'm not too worried about it falling, but I like that you have that option. It comes in a really nice case, so you can carry it around with you. Um, 
and that's just the box it came in. So this is a white noise machine that is portable. I didn't want a battery operated one. So you charge it up, keep it charged, and um, a white noise machine is great for helping babies fall asleep, kind of mimics the sounds that they would be hearing in the womb, and also helps drown out some of the other sounds that are happening in the house. This particular one comes with white noise and a couple of other sounds and an auto off timer, which is really nice. And it's just so small and compact, so I can clip it to the diaper bag or the stroller, or I can just move it from room to room and be able to use it wherever she needs it. So a couple of fun things over here, first off, these passies are just so stinking cute. You can get these at Target too. And then these two are baby wraps. They talk about in moms on call about swaddling to help them with their sleep. And these are nice because if you're not very good at swaddling or if you have a super wiggly baby, these have Velcro on them. This unvelcros, that unfolds and that unfolds. So you basically just lay them down and then one, two, three, wrap them up. And I like this particular brand. For me having a summer baby, it's very lightweight. As we get into the cooler season or if you're having like a winter baby, I'll just put more layers underneath her before putting this on top of her. So I like that I can make it cooler or warmer. This is just a great little first aid kit. I almost forgot to have that for her. So we might not need it necessarily right away, but definitely like once she's crawling and stuff, she might get a little scratch or something on her knee that she needs a Band-Aid. There's also tweezers and again like nail clippers to keep in my bag at all time. Gauze. All kinds of good stuff in one single tiny little cute first aid kit. Going back to swaddles, these are just some really pretty swaddles that I wanted. This is like a muslin one. It's really big, so you have plenty of room as they grow to wrap your baby in. And then this was a whole set. I don't know why. I don't think the pink matches that at all. I really just wanted this, but hey, I have a cute little pink hat with the knot on top. And this is a bow, which is nice because you get to tie it to whatever size that you need. So that'll definitely grow with her. But what I'm most excited about is this wrap. It's very, very soft. While the muslin is nice, um, this one is like super soft. It feels like a t-shirt. Has this really pretty print on it. And um, again, comes with a bow. My goal or my plan with her is to do a lot of skin to skin contact in the beginning, especially when we're breastfeeding. So I'm thinking again, because it's summer, I can just have her in a diaper and a swaddle for a lot of the time, or just a onesie, not a lot of um, layers and things like that. So the swaddle is gonna be to keep her comfortable and cozy when we're in the air conditioning, but then I can unwrap it and easily do skin to skin contact. So I definitely stocked up on quite a few wraps. And then this last cheetah thing is not a wrap. It's actually one of those things that goes over the car seat. And again, it's super lightweight. So even with the temperatures outside, I think it's gonna be very comfortable for her, but protect her from like any wind or even like the sun and everything. And then it also doubles as a nursing cover. While I have a ton of stuff. I definitely like anything like this that serves more than one purpose. Okay, just a couple more things to show you. I forgot I wanted to show you some of these Amazon outfits that are like absolutely precious. This is probably one of my favorite. It's this beautiful little, I don't even know what you call that, like a bubble or a romper, or, but it's this halter top. So this lace ties behind her neck. And I wasn't sure with this material, like, oh, you know, Amazon, like how, what's it gonna feel like? It is so soft for being lace. Like it feels silky and has this beautiful like darker gold overlay. So this might end up being like a photo shoot prop. I'm not sure. But if I just dress her in it randomly, I'm definitely gonna be taking some nice photos with my camera on it. I also registered for this bundle of headbands. We'll just go with so many different outfits that I have that has gold in it. I'm not sure which one yet, but one of these is gonna match this perfectly. They're just lace. Um, again, they're not scratchy. And there's a couple of different styles here. This is also probably one of the softest things I have for her. Another Amazon find. I thought it was cute. I see little pom-poms. And then I actually got a cover up that pretty much matches this. So I'll link that up to, oh, and it comes with a, comes with a little headband. And then again, if you can't tell, I like cheetah. So this first set is long sleeve. So I got it a little bit bigger for when she's bigger, but oh my gosh, it says, sorry boys, daddy says no dating. So cute. And it comes with these pants. And again, the matching headband that you can do yourself to fit whatever size head they have. Daddy's little girl, again, another larger size long sleeve for fall or winter with the pants and matching headband. A short sleeve onesie, it says mama's bestie and it has these little 
bloomers that are so cute. The little ruffles on them and matching headband. Okay, seriously, the last outfit is this one. I can't walk because I'm a mermaid. So cute. I did see matching bloomers. I ended up taking them off my registry just because I feel like I have so many other things. Um, but it actually had like a fish scale print. So I will link that up for you guys if you want the bloomers. But I ended up not getting the bloomers. I'm just going to throw some little shorts or maybe even just let her chubby little rolls hang out of it. I'm not sure. But then this didn't come with it. But I found it and it just matched it so perfectly. And it's this beautiful headband. It has a nice gold glittery band. But again, super soft. And that's actually a real starfish on there. So... That's gonna be so cute. And my sister got me that with this aerial theme. So she also got me an aerial book. And then these little bath toys that I had registered for that little set. So this girl's gonna love Disney. And then these books. So I have a couple of books that are for Davin that I put on my Amazon registry. It's just really important to me that she knows Davin, that she loves Davin. It's such a hard concept when um, you've never met him or you know she wasn't alive when he was here for that brief moment in our life. If you guys are new to my channel, I had a stillborn, my first baby was stillborn, my son Davin, so that's what I'm talking about. I really like this book a lot, it's super cute. Someone came before you, I really like this too. And then God gave us heaven, so of course I wanna teach my baby about heaven, but especially um, because that's where her big brother is. And then I did put this on my registry too for him because I have a baby book for Jolie and I started one with Davin and then I threw it away. Um, I hadn't thrown a lot of stuff away, but it was just too hard um, to have it just sitting there with nothing. So this book is um, a baby book that's designed specifically for when you lose your baby. So as I'm going to continue to fill out her baby book, I'm going to do this for Davin as well. So these are his kind of little books slash her books. And then these are just, again, some of my favorite books to read when I was a kid, like if you give a mess of cookie and Dr. Seuss and little critters. And then this one, I'm just going to highlight real quick was super cute. I was reading this to a friend's daughter, um, right before our baby shower. So I added it last minute. It's just so cute. It, um, has each animal and it talks about good morning and then good night. And there's these little fuzzy pieces on each page. And again, my friend's daughter just absolutely loved petting the dog and the kitty. And then the last page is the little girl and she gets to tuck her into bed with a blanket. So it's definitely a great little kid's book. So I know that was a lot. That was a total mouthful for me, but I just wanted to share all these things with you. I'm super excited. Thank you everyone who sent me something in the mail or came to my baby shower and gifted me these things. And now I have the great task of putting it all away and getting this room cleaned up and ready for her arrival. So um, again, I'm linking everything in the bottom below in the description box. It helps you find everything exactly that I'm talking about. And it's also an affiliate link, so it helps me out. I actually linked up my website below as well. I used to do health coaching. I'm not currently, but I recreated it as a landing page. So you can go in there and find all of my social medias. And um, you can also subscribe to my emails so that you get notified via email every time I put a new video out. And you'll want to do that because she is coming very very, very soon so you don't want to miss my next couple of videos comment like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one